Hi, just a quick second channel video back on the Rigol HDO 4000 series oscilloscope. I completely forgot to tear down the power supply in it. And well, yeah, I, that's a first, isn't it? Anyway, because um, it's usually one of the first things I look at. Yeah, you know, it looked a bit difficult to get out, so I thought hey, I'll leave it until the end. And then the end came and I forgot and I was excited that I'd finished the video and I wanted to edit it. Anyway, um, here it is. It's actually a, uh, rather than just, you know, like a bare board, like stuck on uh, some standoffs um, in here, it's actually screwed into the uh, side like this and uh, a post down here. So rather than just like a, a bare board and then have like a custom shield over it, it looks like they've gone for like an, just an off the shelf um, a brick a, uh, a Monsun brand, I've certainly uh, heard of them, and um, it's an LM15-20B12 for those playing along at home. So it's like they've just taken it an off-the-shelf module. They haven't actually commissioned anything specific because, well, they don't need anything fancy. As I said, like, there's just like, uh, like presumably it's set to 12 volts. I haven't actually measured it. Um, and it's just one of those adjustable um, output voltage jobbies and, and mains in and it's just it's all done for you but usually um they you know companies try and reduce the cost a bit by actually getting something at least like you know custom tailored because you might be able to save a few cents that way but they've they've gone with a, just an off-the-shelf brick and it seems to meet their uh requirements so they went yeah no worries so we'll have a quick squiz and of course don't ask me i uh, didn't engage a brain i just saw two screws on the side and i unscrewed them and <laughs> adult a, a uh, little um uh, bracket fell out uh inside because that was holding one of the power devices that had nothing to do with actually clamping on the lid so yeah we can actually have to get in here like this and taking it off they've got the clips in here i can probably push in there and get it out but yeah duh. yeah it turns out it's got uh, little clever hooks in there and stuff like that so it actually um just slides off the end like that but uh yeah there was the <laughs> that'd ruin your day if you uh had that flapping around in the breeze in there, um, yeah, you'd really come a gutsa. So, yeah, that is designed. You'll see that they've got the uh, a bit gigantic, like, gigantic sill condom on there. Um, yeah, they've completely covered the package, and uh, that's just designed to physically hold pressure on there, and just, uh, even though they've got, that's possibly thermal adhesive in there. Not entirely sure, but uh, they've got it on those ones up there as well and that plate uh, just holds those in place anyway forgive me for not unscrewing all that i just uh, couldn't be bothered anyway um th here's the mains input over here big uh, bridge rectifier there and um the two big uh dc filter caps what brand have we got i don't know it's under the bottom i don't want to take it off 105 degrees c rated i don't know rtm in brackets uh, model uh, number b3a not sure, maybe I can uh, search for that, but uh, oh, we can't see any of the uh, custom transformer in there, but uh, yeah, it's all wrapped for our protection. That's some serious common mode choke action happening there. I really like that. Oh, look at that. That's just, that's a Bobby Dazzler, really. Beautiful, I love the exposed, you know, just having the exposed coils and the look, look at the green core in there. Ah, oh, thing of beauty, joy forever. Anyway, it looks like a bunch of Y-class caps going down the ground, all the nice isolation shots, uh, uh, slots, everything's hunky-dory. Um, we've got uh, filtering on the input and output of our uh, common mode choke. There's a varistor on the input there, that looks like a fuse, a little uh, line fuse on the mains input, and the, the output filtering is, you know, pretty minimal here. Um, it's just got some uh, polymer, they look like uh, polymer, None of that uh, electrolyte rubbish. They look like a uh, solid uh, electrolyte. And um, you've got to make, why would you go with these and then have that one as well? Uh, different values, different functions. But yeah, it's just funny that they've uh, gone with an old school vented one there. And it uh, looks like solid ones here. But um, it's all she wrote. Like, I won't get the board out. Um, there's SMD circuitry on the bottom, no doubt, um, because like this is going to have some uh, secondary side regulation here. So I would say that there's going to be circuitry on the bottom. Oh, all right. There you go. I know people just complain if I don't do it. There's the uh, secondary side. Oh, look at that. They got <laughs> all the uh, thieving squares there. Um, somebody, somebody had fun. There's only a three pin jobby on there. And uh, oh, look, you can see the glue 
you can see the glue holding it up well, that were supposed to be holding down the components that aren't there that's what that little thing in the middle there is hopefully you can see that that is some uh, they've applied the glue but they haven't applied the part because well presumably it's not needed on this model but anyway um these are not uh switching trannies on the output these are just diodes you can tell they're only uh two pin um and it looks like so there's only a SOT 23 here but you can see some optocoupler feedback here in fact it's coming you can see the traces running all the way around there all the way follow the money they run into the output um, here and there's an optocoupler there which does uh, so they're effectively doing primary side regulation there by the looks of it but anyway that's pretty groovy I like all the isolation slots that is a well designed uh, power supply I you know the cap brands meh whatever but uh, yeah they've actually used a uh, complete off the shelf module that's interesting I think that's possibly the first time I've ever seen that in a scope teardown please tell me if I'm wrong down below but um, yeah it's quite unusual to just literally use like an off-the-shelf um, you know package usually they you know save a few cents by custom designing it in some way 